Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. Today's lesson is a follow-up to my previous lesson. In the previous lesson I demonstrated how we can take over 700 rows of daily transactions and in less than 10 mouse clicks turn those transactions into information. Information that is grouped by year, by quarter, and by month using pivot tables. Once people realize how simple this is and that you can even do it, I will get calls and say, Danny, that's great for a calendar year, but our organization is using a fiscal year. Can I create a similar report based around the fiscal year? Yes, you can. So in our calendar year pivot table, we just had two columns. For a fiscal year report, I've added two additional columns, two additional fields one for the quarter of the fiscal year and one for the fiscal year. As you can see up here in the header, this organization is organized using a fiscal year that begins on April 1st. So the year runs from April 1st through the end of March. What we want to do is identify the months of April through June as being in the first quarter of a fiscal year. All right, with one cell selected, let's create a pivot table. Insert tab on the ribbon, create pivot table. Let's take all of the defaults. So now here down on our blank worksheet, let's drag over simply the date field. What we first want to do is we want to group the date field. We want to have month and year. We have two choices. First, we select a single cell in dates and either right mouse click or come up here on pivot table tools options and choose to group the field. What we want to do is group the field by month and by year. Now that's important, month and year. The year will be able to separate the year of April in 2009 from the year of April in 2010. All right, click OK. Now, two things. We no longer need the year field, so we'll take that off the pivot table. And what we want to do is change the name of this field from date to month. So we select it choose field settings and let's change this to a better label month all right now we're ready to start building our pivot table so we have the month down here in the row now remember in our original source data we had the fiscal year in this case let's take the fiscal year and put it into the column now let's take the quarter. Remember we had the fiscal year quarter in our source data and this time let's take it down and we'll move it into the row. We'll have it above the month. So now here we have the fiscal year and we have the quarter and the months that are in those quarters. Now we can add in our sales. So our sales are the amount field and we'll use the subtotal for sum. So here's our information. And let's, of course, make a couple of changes. Let's change the formatting of a number. Remember, we format a field. One way to do that is to right mouse click one of the numbers, choose the value field settings, come over here into the number format. Let's choose currency with zero decimal places. And let's make one other cosmetic change. Let's get rid of the grand total for the rows. Pivot Table Tools, Options, come over here into Options, and on Tools and Filters, let's not show the grand totals for the rows. All right, so there we have quickly created a quick summary report that uses a fiscal year. So our fiscal year is showing up here. We have the quarters of the fiscal year and the months that are in each of those quarters for the fiscal year. So you see how easy it is to create that report. If you're on a calendar report, you can do it in 10 clicks or less of the mouse. Make sure for the fiscal year report that you add in those additional columns for the quarter and the fiscal year. And I will see you in the next lesson.